and welcome to this episode of Sailing Freedom with me. In the previous ordinary episode before the Awaka interview, we visited a castle in Silvers and uh, had some boat work done and we made a surprising announcement of change of plans. In this episode we will finally get the parts that we have been waiting for and we will prepare the boat for uh, the first sail of the year and the long passage. We are still in Lagos in the south coast of Portugal. We have quit our working life to see the world from our sailboat and we want to bring you with us. My name is Anders. I am Gita. And this is Litsa, the truly free spirit on board. While stuck on the hard, we did some yearly maintenance and checkups. Anders is checking our ditch bag or emergency bag. Because we bought some new flares today that we want to put in it, and then we can check out the content when are we there. Our dinghy was really dirty, so I decided to give it a good clean up and Anders made some minor repairs. The product I used for cleaning was really effective, but my hands got bad despite I was using gloves. So it's probably some really strong chemicals in it. But here I want to show you, can you see the difference between this upper half that I have clean? This is some spots where it's actually worn out so that can't be cleaned away. But look here and compare the lower part that I have, I have not cleaned yet. So all the dinghy looked like this before. Okay, let's do the other half in super speed. finished with the cleanup of the dinghy and uh, I think it looks a lot better than it did before but it is an old dinghy so do still have some spots and, and worn out places but uh, it's as clean, clean as I could get it and uh, now I know that Anders is very excited on trying to lift it with the new David system. We had to use both our hands, both of us, to uh, get it up, so we have not filmed it. But uh, the lift went well, it was a little heavier than I expected. But it hangs exactly the way we wanted it, directly on the sonar panel, so that you can both look and pass by underneath it. So, we gotta check on the dinghy functionality. Time for lunch break. Grilled minced meat, beefs and... Uh... And as you can see, the grill works perfectly. But things like this will let the taste pass by. Here's a little tip. If you're in Lagos, don't miss out on Ibashi. Today is Lotta's birthday and we're celebrating her on a Japanese restaurant. Happy birthday, Lotta! Of course the guys are talking about boat work. Right now they're comparing the electrical systems. This Japanese restaurant raised in the marina is called Iwashi and it has great sushi and sashimi. It was absolutely delicious, don't miss it. And then suddenly she started to sing. Wow. <laughs> We go Iridium. We have got a package. At last. At last, yes. We've been waiting for it. It's been traveling around Europe, especially in, in Germany. Yeah, back, back and, and forth. forth in Germany. It started in München and went to Leipzig and then to Köln and back to Leipzig. And well, then to, and then to Lisbon, and now it's here, finally, and it should be the antenna for our Iridium Go and some SIM cards. Yeah, and it's more mostly paper. Yeah, <laughs> a big box with lots of paper. A big box. But Lisa was very happy that we bought a box for her. It 
was a bit fiddly to put the SIM card in. Anders is testing a little bit where we should mount the antenna and we have tested a little bit of the functionality. I have received two messages. Uh, I have not been able to reply but it probably just takes some time and uh, we just made a short phone call. Uh, yep, it worked. So this is... Uh, it's this on is its way. It's on its way and it's exciting. Just tested to place the antenna at several places but wasn't quite happy. So he bought a little extension to get it a little bit higher up and uh, the results became much better. So we're going to install the spit, yeah. And then you have the other bogen. bogen. Mounting our Radium Go antenna. And it's not an easy job. It's hard to reach as usual. Finally, our power thruster gear has arrived, and I'm sorry for the wind noise in some of those clips. Again. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> Discussing the weather. It's blowing like hell. Yeah. And she doesn't care. She doesn't care at all. So it looks like we will have to wait a couple of days more before we get into the water. Yeah. But you can't sail to Madeira anyway. No. So waiting. you have to wait for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we were just discussing how long we have to be in the water before we can go, and we said, I said 24 hours. Okay. So that's the time I get to provision and pre cook, and okay. But you can start provision but right now in the smaller scale. No, but yeah. the thing is, she wants to fill up the freezer. We can't start ah, the freezer yeah, yeah. before we're in the water. So, okay. So that's, that's the reason. So but on the other side, we, we really don't, uh, it's only going to be a few days, so you don't have to pre-cook no. like too much. No, I don't. But if, I if know you, you I know. you uh, meatballs, then that's okay. Yeah, I know, I, 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 know I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Swedish, meatballs. Swedish meatballs. Yeah. As long as I got Swedish meatballs, Anders is happy. Yeah, <laughs> even, even lit size. Yeah, she, she eats them too. Installation. I collect put the propellers. Yeah. And then you will install the gear after the propellers are in place. 
Yeah, I know. Uh, we need to put the propellers yep. for... Yep. Okay. Interesting. Does it work both ways? On. It was a success, so now he only has to put the protection bars back in place and we need to tidy up and we are good to go. But before we close up, let's peek in from above. There it is. More bow thruster and the bow thruster batteries. So. Now they're finished, so we can close up and hopefully get into the water soon. Without the bow thruster we can't control the bow of the boat and that makes maneuvering in tight quarters very difficult. It is splash time! Finally, after two and a half months, they are coming for us. This is a good sight to see on land instead of two weeks but now we are finally getting into the water we are moving it's always a bit nervous to be hanging on the crane and be lifted up and down and our shore support is walking behind us they're going to help to push off if needed it's a bit gusty. And, um, we have two trusty guys that will stand up and that's the tool and help us. We are going down. On our way to Lagos Marina again. After a long visit on land. And uh, Magnus from Trentoire is extra crew on board. Don't talk about the meal yet, Bertil. It was so wonderful to be back in the water and uh, the marina again. Our final days in Lagos meant a lot of socializing. First we went to a Chinese place in Tomara I'd heard was really good. Palacio de China up the hill on the other side of the canal. So it was quite a long walk. It was fun to get to know Janne, the extra crew member who was going to come along to uh, Porto Santo and Madeira a little bit better. Pressurized. We had a very pleasant evening with lots of good food that was well worth the walk. The next day we walked up to O Lamberto, a restaurant in the same area, to have a traditional Portuguese Sunday lunch with George and Brit Marie. <laughs>
Vi protesterade att han kom bara med nu så vi skulle ha två. Enough socializing. Now we need to do some more passive preparation. And uh, as we are preparing for leaving Lagos after spending the entire winter here, uh, one of the things we are going to do is provisioning. So I'm on my way to Pungo Doso to uh, do that now. I have previously made a provisioning list that I always check before a long um, passage, but usually I don't need to buy it all. I don't plan for every meal, but I do plan for that there should be something that is quite easy to make, something that is totally finished that we can just eat, and something that is a little bit more fun in case there is calm weather. I always buy enough food for a couple of days extra, because you never know if the sale takes longer or uh, if it's hard to provision the next day and you might be very tired after a long passage. So then it's nice to know that you don't need to go to uh, find a store immediately. Here we sit and enjoy ourselves in uh, the cockpit. It's the day before departure day and uh, we are mentally preparing for our first trip of the year and one of the more exciting blue water trips because uh, tomorrow we will leave here around lunchtime uh, so we can pass the sandbar that has built up in the canal out of Lagos uh, at high tide uh, for a three and a half day approximately and 500 nautical miles long trip out straight into the Atlantic to Porto Santo and Madeira together with uh, our friends in Tintamara and it's going to be really fun uh, we have looked at the weather and the weather looks fantastic it is um, it's looking like it's going to be a great sail it's mostly night uh, yeah not that heavy wind and, and reaching so yeah. that should be and we should be a nice trip it, it, we will even start by motoring a little bit and uh, we are going to have company by that boat over there one of the jobs before departure is to actually draw the cable for the region go that means we have to empty this locker again and i'm going down into the hole we are still tidying up the boat and uh, trying to stow away everything so that we are prepared for the passage tomorrow and uh, i have begun making swedish meatballs that's necessary for a passage for us the last night in lagos so tomorrow about lunch we will leave for por santo and madeira and we are going to heat out we have been Tidying up the boat <laughs> and she secured it. Yeah, uh, a lot of work. A lot of work, but after months in harbor and on land. Yeah, you get a little lazy and you don't put it quite as good as it should. So that came back now, but now it's nice and tidy, and I have even pre-cooked a lot of meatballs for Anders. <laughs> then I will survive the trip. <laughs> And we got a wonderful evening. In the next episode, we are finally leaving Lagos and we have a wonderful sail to the lovely island of Porto Santo. Subscribe to continue following our journey. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, remember thumbs up makes us happy. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit the little bell button so that you will get notification when we release the next video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>